video is a series of short clips running through the operation of the various appliances within the caravan. Sometimes the switches and the operation of the appliances are slightly different from what I'm going to show you now but the caravans have all got sheets in them which detail the exact location of the switches that are relevant and by referring to the sheets you can find out where the switches are for the particular caravan that you're in. So the first thing we need to do is to switch the battery on in the caravan. On this particular van it's on this control panel next to the door. On this particular control panel we've got the master the bottom here and that turns the battery 12 volts on and off. We've also got a switch above it which is the master switch for the lights so that will turn the lights on and off. In addition to that each of the lights in the caravan will be individually switched on the light itself and some of the lights particularly the bathrooms there may be switches on the lights there's also very often either a switch on the wall or a pull switch so it may be a two-way switch so if you try the light and it doesn't work then you'll need to operate the switch on the wall or the pull switch. The other two switches on this panel are the awning light switch and the water pump switch. Once you've turned the water pump switch on water comes out of the taps when you lift the lever. One thing to bear in mind if you're on battery and you haven't got mains hookup turn the water pump switch off each time when you've finished with the water. The water pumps are voltage sensitive and if the battery voltage starts to drop the water pump could start running and flatten your battery. To use the hot water in the caravan there is an onboard water tank which needs to heat up. So the hot water isn't instant you need to give it about half an hour to heat up before you try and use it. When you're using the hot water on gas the little control is on the wall of the caravan. You've got off and then you've got a gas setting. You turn the grey outer bezel clockwise. You hear a click which is the boiler starting up and you'll see a green light on the dial. If the green light is on it's working fine. If it fails a red light will appear at the side of the green light. The reasons for the failure will either be you haven't turned the gas on at the bottle in the front locker or it's run out. The battery voltage is too low because although it's running on gas it still needs a good battery voltage to keep it running. The third thing is that you haven't removed the cover from the gas outlet on the side of the caravan. If you're using the hot water on mains electric there will be a switch somewhere in the caravan if you refer to the sheets for the location of the switch basically you just operate the switch on and off just like an immersion heater in, ha in a home. So now I'm going to demonstrate the fridge in the caravan. If you're running this on gas the first thing to do is make sure you've got the gas turned on at the bottle. Before you try and light the fridge it's always worth running some gas through the hob just to make sure you've got a good gas supply to the fridge. You turn the fuel selector switch to the position where it's pointing at the gas flame. We then move to the temperature control knob which we push it in. We have an ignition button which we press and hold in. 
when the fridge lights you'll hear the roar but the main thing you're looking for is the flame meter on the right hand side of the fridge when it's lit the little red line moves slightly to the right now it doesn't always move very far but as long as it's moved from its original position the fridge will be lit we then hold the temperature control knob in for a further 20 to 30 seconds something like that to overcome the flame failure device and then we release the knob if the flame meter pointer if that red line moves back to the left hand side it means that you haven't held the knob in long enough and it's cut the gas off if that happens push the temperature knob in again press the ignition relight the fridge and hold it for a little bit longer before releasing the temperature knob one thing to watch with this particular model of fridge is sometimes this knob which you press in because of the way it, it's designed it gets stuck in the in position now it's important that it always releases so once you've lit the fridge it's always wise just to give this a little bit of a, a jiggle to make sure that knob comes fully out the fridge is now running on gas so once the fridge is lit on gas you shouldn't have to do anything with it until the point comes where you have to change the gas bottle if you have to change the gas bottle over you will need to relight the fridge before you relight the fridge it's always wise to light one of your burners on the hob just to make sure you've got a nice good gas supply before you try and relight the fridge to run the fridge on mains electrics you simply turn the fuel selection switch to the first position which is a picture of a little plug and the fridge will now work the temperature selection knob works in the same way as it does for gas okay so the cooker in the caravan runs on gas so obviously make sure your gas is turned on at the bottle lift the lid choose the burner that you're wanting to light get the knob turn it quarter turn to high and when you push it in you'll hear the gas there's an automatic ignition on the cooker there light the gas keep it pressed for a few seconds for the flame failure device to heat up then you can release your hand and it will stay lit You've got a high setting, low setting and off. So this is the fire that's fitted to the majority of caravans. There are two dials on the top. Sometimes these are reversed but you'll see on your individual caravan just by looking at it. This knob is the gas control knob with a zero and then numbers one to ten and on the right hand side here we've got the fan switch this particular fire is automatic ignition on gas so when you want to use it on gas all you have to do make sure your gas is turned on at the bottle take your gas control knob turn it around to about five and you'll hear a clicking Press that down until the clicking stops. When the clicking stops, the fire is lit. It only lights a pilot until you release that knob and then it will fire up. And you can hear the roar as the gas fires up. Once the fire is lit, there's a viewing hole here which if you get it exactly the right angle you can actually see the flame you can adjust the temperature between 1 and 10 
by moving the dial round on the top there. Bear in mind when you're using the fire on gas it gets very hot so any children or anybody must be very careful not to touch the fire and don't drape anything over it. When you've finished with the fire turn the gas control round as far as it will go clockwise back to zero. The gas will then go out. On the right hand side we have our fan switch. There's a little slider at the front with three positions. The left hand position is a variable position so by sliding it onto the variable position you can then move the little dial at the back between 1 and 5 and adjust the speed of the fan. The centre position is the off position and the right hand position which is the A the fire will automatically adjust its speed to suit the heat coming out of the fire. If we're using the fire on mains electrics there's a control knob on the wall and there's an isolator switch which also needs to be switched on for the fire to work. The isolating switch can be in various places in the different caravans but the sheets that you've got will indicate the location of the isolator. Once we switch the isolator on we can then move to the wall switch. The wall switch has three different power settings 2000, 1000 and 500. We select the power setting we want by turning the grey bezel. The dial on the inside is a thermostat to adjust the cut-off temperature of the fire. Put the legs down, press the bracket towards you, pull the leg. It locates as shown. You repeat that for the other leg. When you're actually folding the table away again it is important that before you try and close the leg you release the bracket otherwise it bends the bracket and needs to be replaced. All of the caravans that have got solar panels on them have also got a USB outlet which you can use to charge your mobile phones. Please don't use it for any large items or battery packs as they will blow the fuse.